Welcome back. You're still watching the Breakfast on Plus TV Africa and the uh, Spelling Bee Contest. A spelling bee contest is one in which uh, participants are eliminated as soon as they misspell a word or those participants are scored based on the number of words they spell correctly. It apparently is an American term and it, was, it first appeared in print in 1875. Well, registration has commenced for the 11th edition of the annual Rotary Club of Transamadi Spelling Bee Competition for primary and secondary schools in River State. And this is sponsored by the Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas Limited. We have joining us uh, to give us details of this, uh, Mr. Um, Stanley Echefo, who is the president elect and chairman spelling bee committee, uh, Rotary Club of Transamadi. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry about that. We have Mr. Chingwe Ekong Asanga, uh, president Rotary Club of Transamadi. Mr. Asanga, Asanga, good morning to you. So we have uh, Chingwe Ekong Asanga, president of Rotary Club of Transamadi, and also joining us alongside him is uh, Stanley Chifu, president-elect and chairman of the Pla Spelling Bee Planning Committee. Gentlemen, sorry for the mix-up, and thanks for joining us right here on The Breakfast. Thank you, Kofi. My pleasure to be here this morning. All right, all right. Um, um, give us a, hi a history of um, um, the Spelling Bee organized by the Rotary Club of Transamadi, Port Harcourt. I've, I've been in Port Harcourt nine years, and I do know that the Rotary Club takes... Um, uh, spelling bee competitions very importantly have happened to be a volunteer a few times for the Rotary Club in Port Hackett. I can't forget it. And um, why does the Rotary Club embark on such projects as a spelling bee competition? Okay, Kofi, thank you so much. And uh, once again, it's my pleasure to be on your library back show today to talk about the Rotary Club of Transamari Spelling Bee. And actually, in 2011, the Rotary Club of Trans Samadhi decided to start the spelling bee competition. And the objective of this program is to hold an annual spelling bee competition for all primary. And uh, when it started, it was for secondary schools in River State to drive and actualize the state educational growth and aspiration, while also at the same time reinforcing the Rotary International's uh, focus on basic educational literacy and new generation has core values and all that. So that was the, the idea behind the spelling bee. And of course, if you look at the trends that we have over the years, you, you will see that we have a lot of uh, high failure rates in the uh, aptitude tests and students, uh, you know, even though they are graduated from the university, they find it difficult to spell words correctly. Many at times, if you're opportune to look at applications, when uh, graduates, fresh graduates are applying for jobs and all that, you find a lot of spelling errors and all that in the applications. And then as I begin to wonder, you know, for graduates. So in 2011, the Rotary Club of Trans Samadhi decided to go into the spelling bee competition. And uh, it is an intervention of the club. And we have a cardinal objective that we try to achieve with the spelling bee program. Number one is to improve the educational quality of the schools by introducing a heady competition. And number two is also to introduce education activity that will increase the capacity of students to perform well in English and aptitude tests, as well as having fun in the process. And thirdly, to create an opportunity to refocus the schools around growth and value creation. So this is uh, the intervention of Rotary Club and somebody in the area of spelling bee. And like we always say, the slogan of the spelling bee is beyond words. And I must say that Rotary Club and Spelling have done quite a lot in the area of spelling bee, and we have made a lot of improvements and achievements. Interesting. Um, uh, let's go over to you, um, uh, Stanley Echefu. Uh, this, this has been on for uh, some time, as it's been pointed out by our first guest. Um, this should be the 11th edition or 11th year since 2011. What's the experience, the record, and the journey been like so far um, for the Rotary Club of Transamadi in River State with the Spelling Bee Competition? Okay, uh, Kofi, once again, uh, the, the spelling bee competition, when we began in 2011, we had 51 schools that took part in the maiden edition in 2011. And as I speak with you, as at the time we had the 10th edition on March, 20, March 2020, we had 1,000 schools, both for primary and secondary, from 51 schools to 1,000 schools. And that is quite a lot of improvement over a period of 10 years. 
And uh, if you look at what it has been from when we started, the project of the spelling bee has grown in leaps and bounds. And of course, uh, one of the achievements we, we can talk about is that when we started, many people here in River State, you are not familiar with the spelling bee. But as, as I speak with you today, many schools, parents look forward uh, to all the spelling bee. And of course, most schools also have gone ahead creating spelling bee clubs for their students in their various schools. So I must say that it has been a worthwhile experience for us here in trans and we're very proud of what we have done so far. Okay, let, let's bring Madam in at, at this point. Uh, um, Mrs. Chinwe Kwasanga, um, you are uh, the president of Rotary Club of Trans and Madi, Port Hackett. Um, is, is, is the, 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 um, the registration still on? Um, what has been the response, uh, what has the response been like? Um, are, are the schools still interested in something like this? You know that COVID-19 has sort of like dampened interest in some public activities and all that. Is the registration still on and can other schools who have not yet registered um, plug into this program? Thank you, Kofi. The registration is still on and um, we are still getting calls from schools. And like this morning, I got um, about three calls of, um, from different um, school proprietors who said um, they just realized that um, the jingles were on. But of course, that's their own um, mistake. But I informed them to go ahead and register because it is still on. Okay, interesting. Um, um, so, so for those who want to register, who are listening right now, um, how can they do that? Uh, which schools is this, uh, is this competition open to? Are you looking at schools all over River State or you have schools just in your catchment area? We know that this is Rotary Club of Transamadi, but you have a catchment area. And, and if so, how can those schools who have not yet registered do so? Okay, we have uh, forms for those who have not registered. We have, um, they can pick up our forms from the seminary um, at Rumi Bekwe. And then um, they can also pick up our forms from um, online. There's um, www.clubrunner.com. It's online. And it's not only meant for those in our catchment area, because River State as a whole is our catchment area. So we have it um, in some schools in different communities, in different uh, local governments. Bonnie Island is also part of um, part of the communities. But then we have our phone numbers on the, um, if they hear the jingles, we have our phone numbers. If they reach out to any of us, we can get across to them with the forms. So it's not just um, in our wet Rotary uh, Club of Transamadi is okay. resident, okay. but all over River State. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, um, this, this, this competition, as we said earlier, is sponsored by the Nigerian Liquefied Natural Gas Company, or Limited, and th that's quite impressive. Um, what's the relationship been like with the NLNG uh, Limited and Rotary Club of Transamadi? And have you had you know, a, a smooth ride with sponsorship coming your way over the past 11 years? Not quite. This is actually the first time we have um, a professional body, you know, um, sponsoring us. We've not really had any interaction with NLNG or any other big um, organization per se. Rather, we have um, supporters, you know, in little quantities, but it has always been managed, sponsored by Rotary Club of Trans Samadhi. And um, I would wish to add that um, since this is our first time with NLNG, we hope to have other companies, you know, reaching out to sponsor us because our dream is to go beyond River State, to go beyond um, Nigeria. And um, looking at the fact that um, a lot of other competitions, um, which are not academic based, are sponsored by big companies. Looking at this one, which touches everybody, because it's from our children upwards and their future. We are also using this opportunity to reach out to other big companies to come in like, you know, next year and subsequent years to do the good job NLNG has done. I must recommend NLNG for doing this. They are the first big company to reach out. 
Interesting, interesting. And Stanley Echefu, um, the, the, the spelling bee model is, is quite unique because it, it, it relies on words being spelled correctly. And I, like I said earlier, I've been at uh, a couple of your events as a volunteer reader, and it's quite interesting to see the words that uh, um, are, are being read out for these children and how they're able to spell the words. Um, what level of schooling are, you look, are we talking about here? And um, how easy is it for this, these students to, you know, to manipulate themselves uh, their way around these words? Okay, thank you, thank you, Kofi. Uh, I'm glad you remember you've been part of uh, this spelling bee sometime uh, in the past as one of the pronouncers. Thank you for that for, for sharing the past. Uh, anyway, if you look at the, the spelling bee uh, as, as it is, the, the spelling bee has a model, and uh, I, I think the, the model we have adopted for the spelling bee has been working for us so perfectly. And uh, it might interest you to know. Let me mention here that this spelling bee is the only spelling bee anywhere in the world that is free. That no child pays anything to participate. We have the we have the primary category and we have the secondary category. When we started in 2011, it was just the secondary alone. But by 2016, when we are coming to the sixth edition of the secondary, parents and school requested that we go into primary, and that's why we started the primary edition. Now, uh, over the past 10 years, what we have done so far, the spelling bee has been great. If, if you look at well, uh, there was a time we tried to introduce word list for the, the pupils and, and all that. We did it once and we, we didn't do it again for the secondary. We have over 3,000 words. Kofi, it might wow. interest you to know that most of these candidates, you know, read this word list, 3,000 words, and many of them became conversant and have those 3,000 words right inside their head. And that's yes. very commendable, very impressive. And uh, because of that, we, we decided not to introduce the word list for the secondary. We only give out the word list for the primary. But the point I'm trying to make this morning is that you have students that come into a competition where they have access to over 3,000 words. Some of them we are able to learn 3,000 new words, most of the ones they have not seen before. And uh, if you look at that, that's quite a lot of achievement and improvement. So, so far, the model we have adopted so far have been working very perfectly. And I would say that uh, we are indeed moving in the, in the right direction and all that. All right, fantastic. And um, the benefits, I know you've talked about this before, but the benefits of uh, um, spelling bee as, as compared to other models of um, competition, educational uh, competitions for, for students. Um, uh, Mrs. Uh, Eko Asang had talked about um, the sponsorship and the fact that uh, the Rotary Club of Transamadi has not had sponsorship before now, and then it has done a good one bringing uh, itself into this one. Um, um, and Mrs. Eko Asang, is, is this spelling bee model something that others can, can key into? compared to probably a maths and science quiz, you know, I want you to sell this to, to the listening public, especially uh, corporate Nigeria. Why spelling bee? Why not some other form of competition? Like um, the benefits, you cannot go, you cannot say, um, take the benefits out and out of our system that it is very, very much. Before you do sciences, before you do arts in the schools, you of course have to have a hold of your spelling. Now for this, we are getting the spelling bee on ground to give us that spelling. Then if you are talking about mathematics and other sciences, other people can join, other people can do what we are doing. But for Rotary Club of Trust Amadi, for now we are doing the spelling bee which is the basic, which is the bottom, which is the basic stand for every other subject, like, you know, as, is, as it is English. Hmm. So we are still reaching out to other um, organizations to sponsor this, to help let this stand. Then as we go on, we will have um, maybe, because we started with just secondary schools, but parents, schools and um, teachers requested for us to add primary school because of the huge success. Maybe if there is need and if there is sponsorship and if there is more requests for such, we would get um, maybe mathematics and other uh, competitions in. 
Interesting. Interesting. Uh, um, you've been the president of uh, uh, Rotary Club of Transmati for some uh, for some time now. I'd like you to tell us what Rotary Club of Transmati has been able to achieve in the past years, not just in your tenure, but in, in the recent years, um, some of the activities of the club and how important this uh, uh, club is, is to life in River State. I do know that it's one of the most more visible and pronounced and mentioned uh, Rotary Clubs in, in River State. So tell us about the important work that you do. Rotary, as you know, is an international organization. And um, we have professionals, we have um, leaders of communities, we have um, business people in, our, in, in Rotary. And that is the same way it is in Rotary Club of Trans Samadhi. And Rotary has several areas of focus. That seven areas of focus, this um, basic education and literacy is one of them. We have disease prevention, we have um, ICAM, um, okay, disease prevention, we have care for a lot of many other people, we have um, care for sanitation, we have environment, we have so many things we do in the community. And out of that seven areas of focus, Rotary Club of Trust Samadhi has done all not just this year, since the 37 years of its existence. We have reached out to our communities to render help for, to restore sites. We have reached out to communities for mother and child health. We have reached out to communities to, to um, put up um, sanitation um, needs, like um, toilets, tanks, and then support education, support um, quite a lot of things okay. we do okay. and then right. the community. All right. Th thank you. In, in one sentence, is there an address that those who want to reach out to you can, can do that? An email address or a phone number very quickly? Yes, they can reach out to www.rotarycluboftransamadi.com. They can also reach to us through a www.clubrunner com, But then our phone numbers are there. You can reach out to 08023298581. All right. All right. Thank you very much. We have our, we have our website. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. All right. All right. And, um, All right. Right. Fantastic. Fantastic. I want to thank you very much. Um, uh, Chingwe Kong Asanga is the president of Rotary Club of Transamadi right there in Port Harcourt River State. Uh, Stanley Echefu is the president-elect and chairman of the Spelling Bee Committee of Rotary Club of Transamadi Port Harcourt. It's been a pleasure having you on the program, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Kofi. Thank right. you. Thank you very much. Um, and that's uh, the much we can take on the on Plus TV Africa on a breakfast right here on Plus TV Africa. My name is Kofi Bartels. We return tomorrow with more on this particular program. Please keep watching Plus TV. My name is Kofi Bartels. Good morning.